Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Learning Tekken. It has been a while since episode 1, hasn't it? Uh, don't worry, this time was not spent dormant. Uh, I have been grinding out with Tekken over the past like 2 weeks since I uploaded the last episode, or episode 1 technically. Since then, quite a few things have happened. First thing that happened, I've picked a new main character, and that main character is Lars. The, see, the problem with Julia, maybe it's just me, and maybe I'll return to her later, but I find her inputs and a lot of her combos to be like very, very finicky. Again, maybe it's just me being a complete idiot with Tekken, which I am. But yeah, that's how I find her, especially that she has one of those like weird inputs where it's like down and down forward, and I have like a really hard time to like getting that move out consistently. It's like needed for all her combos, for her pressure. And you know, when you cannot get uh, the key move for a character out consistently input wise, yeah, we should probably rethink that character. So I've been messing around with a couple of people and I decided to stick with Lars. I've been playing Lars for a bit now. I actually really enjoy his playstyle. So what I thought we'd do today is some match analysis. I played a couple of games a few days ago and I saved them. Uh, that's why probably the quality is gonna be like noticeably different coming up because I recorded it off of the PS share. But still, I think it's worth looking at matches. It's an important part of the learning process, uh, especially now. Like this is recorded right now, this intro. And as you can see, or you'll see when we get into the actual matches, I have like way better combos and shit like that. So yeah, let's get into these matches. We're gonna look at three of them and I'll try analyzing what I am doing wrong and what I'm doing right. Probably not a whole lot. Okay, here we go. This match, the start is gonna be a little bit weird. Uh, this against this Fang uh, was kind of a pain, the match, because he was very, very turtly. So all of the rounds almost ran down to like zero on the timer. And the reason why the intro was cut off is because the PS4 has like a 15 minute record limit. Only after playing the third match do I think it might be worth recording it and kind of analyzing it later down the line. So yeah, as you can see, uh, here I was kind of a noob with Lars. Uh, this was very, very early on and I was still trying to figure him out. Yeah, random, what you call it, rage drive, rage art. I always forget, I always, I mean, confuse the two. Yeah, I got my ass kicked. But what I'm looking at now, uh, instead of focusing on like the most optimal combos, uh, my learning process, and hopefully this is the correct learning process, is I'm focusing more on the fundamentals. So Lars, for example, you know, punishing with 2-1, which is probably his best move. Yeah, I'm not backdashing at all. I forget to move a lot with Tekken, that's my main problem. I should be moving a lot more. Yeah, he hit me with another one. Uh, random rage drive just kind of happens and you gotta be really careful fang is kind of a crazy character or can be kind of crazy i like punishing with this back three four uh the second hit is a high so probably once i get to the higher levels uh, people will start ducking them see yeah here i had no idea on the combos uh the down forward two one is actually a really good move with lars it's like your main combo starter but here I like had shitty combos off of it, I didn't really know what to do. But I, that's what I'm just trying to do, you know, poking with 2-1, poking with 1-1-1, one, 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 uh, seeing what happens. Yeah, down 4 uh, to kind of get a low. I figured out later that I should be using my stances a lot more because he actually has good stances. Although, to be fair, the silent entry, I think, silent entry 2, which is low, has... Like, an extremely low hit rate with me. Yeah, it just somehow doesn't hit. Maybe I'm spacing it incorrectly. But one thing I did learn, uh, I figured out at this point, is that this guy has no idea what to do against throws. Uh, you'll see that I start abusing it more. Uh, that This dude, yeah, he, he just doesn't know what to do with throws. I'm just trying to, you know, poke him. And again, this is my main focus now. Uh, I, I realized, there in that few seconds I realized that you can move in this game. 
Uh, I see I'm like trying to... This is the Mr. Sketchhead backdash instead of the Korean backdash, which is... It's not as good. Hey, it hit there. I think I block it. Yeah, I block it. Could have punished way harder. As you can see, yeah, he just doesn't know what to do against throws. So yeah, I'm focusing on the fundamentals here. Pokes and pokes instead of going for the most optimal damage, which is kind of code word for I have no idea how to do combos, but you know, I see this a lot with these lower ranks without, you know, dissing people too much because I'm low rank as well, that people like know the combos sometimes, but they do not know the fundamentals. And see, this is, we have to talk about one of the biggest problems I have right now with low rank Tekken. I don't know how it is in the high ranks, if any of you guys are in the high ranks, but fucking low rank Tekken, not a single person wants to rematch. Everybody here is such a bitch. Like, I don't think I've fought an opponent yet, aside from maybe one or two, that hasn't ran straight up after one game. I personally always try to rematch, because my idea is that if I want to improve, I have to fight as many people as possible. And, you know, I don't care about wins or losses, like whatever. <coughs> Cough. That's staying in. But I don't know, man. Like, this is... Every fighting game where there's, like, ranks and where win-losses and shit like that are so prominently displayed, people become the biggest bitches. And Tekken is unfortunately no exception. You'll see none of these dudes ever rematch. And I think that's such a shame because it's like, you clearly none of these people are playing to improve. All they are doing is trying to get cheap wins. Speaking of cheap wins, we got this bitch right here. This Paul. I mean, this dude was nothing but Death Fist. I think he figured out the Death Fist input. You can see his movement is about as good as mine. Uh, he figured out the Death Fist and that Power Crush move. And that's all he does. I have my own Power Crush. With this dude, I think later down the line I realized that he wakes up every single time. So if you bait that, uh, it's going to be all good. But the problem with Death Fist is that you can kind of just spam it. Uh, I was trying to space things out. You can spam it and it has a high hit percent, uh, especially against me. It's a, Death Fist is a weird move, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it is super punishable. That's the other thing I found out that Death Fist, yeah, super punishable. I don't know how that didn't hit. Yeah, I tried ducking there. That's another thing I need to do, like duck highs, but I feel like I'm a little bit far away from that. At this point, I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to get salty. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna lose to this motherfucker spamming Death Fist. I don't even know how he did that, because Death Fist is supposed to be like a very minus on block, right? Right? Like, see, this is all he's doing. I, sh I could have I could have finished the string and gotten a combo. Yeah. It just kind of worked. I'm not even gonna lie that I didn't get lucky in this game. Because I got hella lucky. Because this dude was an absolute maniac. Some of these characters, man. Like Paul, Yoshimitsu, uh, Eddie Gordo. Yeah, holy shit. Holy shit do they work well. Yeah, this is not the combo. I know the combo now, so... Don't worry, it's just I didn't know the combo. And I kind of panicked. It's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to do the power crush, but I did the rage art and it worked. Rage drive. I have no... Rage... No, this is the rage art. Whatever, someone let me know. This motherfucker has crazy hair. So yeah, that was Paul. Uh, about as well as you can fight Paul, I think. I'm only kidding, of course. And what a surprise... This dude did not rematch. Nobody does. It's such a shame, man. Like, he, it's impossible to get a fucking game. It's impossible. And finally, the last match we're going to look at is against Eddie. I feel like anyone who has been in lower ranks of Tekken knows that Eddie is all over the fucking place. By far the most popular character, maybe with the exception of Law. Everybody plays Eddie because you can kind of just like do shit with him and a lot of it works because he has so many moves that it's difficult to counter him. However, what I figured out is that you can like poke through a lot of his stuff and a lot of his stuff is really just, you know, flashy gimmicks. Uh, so, so I'm gonna 
kind of tried doing here. God, those combos. It's extra frustrating watching this now because I know the combos at this point. So, yeah, it's kind of... I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, th this is going to be typical Eddie. Like, I don't think I've seen two Eddies in these ranks do the same thing. They all... They all do different things, and you gotta be ready. Like, that move, that weird low kick, I've never seen any other Eddie do that. I have no idea what... He has, like, 200 moves. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, but, yeah. The thing is, he doesn't deal a lot of damage. Uh, he kind of just, like, annoys you. I got grabbed. That is one of the stupidest-looking grabs. Oh, man, speaking of this fighting style... Have you ever, have you guys ever seen that there is an MMA guy who does this? Kaipera, I think it's called. It's cool, but apparently Kaipera has like no practical use, whatever. And this just dude, like, there's this footage of like this dude like flipping around in an MMA cage, and the other guys like looking at him like, what the fuck are you doing? And what the fuck is this guy doing? He's absolutely going ham. Uh, yeah, he's like fucking breakdancing and shit. Uh, sometimes I have no idea what's going on. I realized that he was very, very spammy. That was a calculated rage heart. Believe me, that was not me pressing it randomly. Because uh, he just he just kept going with the stupid spins. I have no idea what... That was the back grab. It's very flashy, but... Oh, the combos, man. What are you doing? What am I doing? There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. That's why I got it. But this is the thing, though. Uh, Lars, one of the buffs he got, I think, is that... I think he deals more... Maybe he doesn't deal more damage. I have no idea. Yeah, he tried out of range. So, yeah, I feel like with Eddie, uh, there's Eddie players that play way worse than this. As in, they are way more random and difficult to predict. But what can you do about those? Those are more difficult to counter. Anyways, that was the match analysis. I don't know, man. I have a lot to go, but I feel like looking at these is okay. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tekken 7. I'm going to do more of these for sure, and maybe as I kind of improve, there will be uh, more to look at and more to analyze. So for now, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, do all that, and peace out, guys. Goodbye.